After launching the Blitz bombing campaign against the United Kingdom in 1940, it took about 20,000 rounds to shoot down a single aircraft, leading to the development of the proximity fuse, which became one of the most important technological innovations of World War II. The Mark 53 proximity fuse was primarily used with large-caliber anti-aircraft guns during World War II. One notable example was the QF 3.7-inch anti-aircraft gun, which served as the British Army's standard heavy AA weapon. The fuse was also compatible with other Allied heavy anti-aircraft guns, such as the US 90mm M1 or M2, and the 5-inch, 38-caliber naval dual-purpose gun. Once the shell is fired, a built-in battery is triggered by the gun's acceleration or setback forces, where a vial full of electrolyte will break during launch and soak concentric plates, creating battery with enough voltage to switch on tube circuit oscillator in the nose. The fuse transmits a continuous radio wave signal, usually in the very high frequency range, into its surroundings using an oscillator located at its tip. When this wave hits a nearby object, such as an enemy aircraft, it reflects back toward the fuse. The fuse detects the reflected signal and looks for changes caused by the Doppler effect. This is done by mixing the transmitted and received signals to generate an intermediate frequency corresponding to the Doppler shift. The circuit then analyzes the amplitude envelope of the Doppler signal. This amplitude increases as the target approaches, peaks at the point of closest approach, and then decreases. When the peak matches a preset threshold, the fuse sends a trigger signal to initiate detonation.